I'm Ronnie from Funker 530, and this is AK9i. Hey guys, it's Ronnie from Funker 530. I'm out here today with James Overton from AK9i, that's American Canine Interdiction. I'm gonna get bit by a dog today, but first what we wanna talk a little bit about is the veteran programs that AK9i has and the opportunity that's waiting for you. You just might not know it's there. James, how are you, brother? I'm good, how are you doing? Thanks oh, for coming out. I'm happy to be here. It's beautiful weather. As beautiful couldn't, weather. couldn't have asked for a better day. So I, we've had the chance to talk a little bit since we've been here. We've taken a tour of the facility so far. I've yep. seen the kennels. We've taken a look at the dorms. You know, tell me a little bit about AK9i, AK9i's mission, and tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, so we'll start with myself, which isn't even remotely interesting at all. Did eight years in the Army. Uh, did seven years as a contractor overseas. And I've been doing K9 now for a little over six years. So I used my GI Bill. I wasn't a K9 handler in the military. Um, I kind of got into it in a different route from what most people do. Um, used my GI Bill. It came through the course here, and then they convinced me to come work for them. And then I've been here for the last uh, going on four years now with AK9I. So what is, what is it about K9 work that you love so much? What it for me? I hate people. I like dogs way better. I hear you. Um, and uh, that's pretty much my sole impetus behind working with K9. I mean, I could really kind of go into how cool it is and all that. But for me, the drive is I like dogs more than people. Um, th I think the other big thing that kind of pushed me to being in the K9 world as far as being a K9 handler was when I was in the military, when I was a contractor, I felt like I was the tip of the spear, so to speak. Yeah. And then when I got out, I kind of lost that sense of purpose. You know, I'm like, you know, sense how, of belonging, right, if you will. Right, yeah. exactly. I'm I like, how it. am I ever going to be as cool as I was when I was a contractor and when I was in the military? Like, you know, it's sure. so I struggled with that for a long time. And I kind of felt I kind of found a renewed sense of purpose when I started doing the canine helm because I'm still safeguarding people. I'm still trying to protect lives, which is one of the reasons why a lot of us join the military. Um, and so that kind of helped me stay sort of connected to that part of me um and i get to work with dogs so yeah, it's nothing yeah. better nothing not, better working with a good dog man's best better. friend right? yep so so veteran specific programs that you have here we were talking a little bit about it earlier and you mentioned something about basically being able to take your bah put it in your pocket and stay here for free during yes. the entirety of the course First yes of all, how long is that course so we've got three different courses. We've got a five-week course, which is strictly for single-purpose detection work. We've got an eight-week course, which teaches you a little bit more about the bite work and the dual-purpose aspect. And then we've got a 13-week sort of like a comprehensive handler trainer course, um, which will teach you not only to be a canine handler, but also a dog trainer. That's amazing. So for that 13 weeks, as, as an offering from you guys' company, and as a veteran, you can use your GI Bill. Yes. Right? You'll come out here to your Southern Virginia compound, yep. which is expansive. Let's just put it that way. You'll come out here to, the, to your Southern Virginia compound, stay here on ground, yep. choose your dog. Yep. At the end of it, you receive a trainer certification. So this is the 13-week course. Yep. A trainer certification, and you walk away with that dog. Yes. And it's all run through. You can run that straight through your GI Bill. So you can either run it through the GI Bill, or you can run it through VR&E. So if you're qualified to get vo vocational rehabilitation, you can run it through that, and it covers the entire cost of the course. So there's nothing out of pocket. That's and astounding. And so what we did to kind of help the veterans, because a lot of the veterans getting out, they don't have any income while the, once they get out of the military. So if they're not utilizing the skill bridge and come while they're on active duty and they've already transitioned out of the military, they can come here and then they get, I think it's about $1,800 and some change for BAH every single month. And that's going to their pocket and because that goes you, to guys their are, pocket you guys are we, putting them up. Absolutely. So we let them stay in our dorm rooms for free. Um, and we, cause we knew that that was going to be a challenge for the guys to try to come here with no income for a full 13 weeks. So basically what you guys are offering is to be paid to learn either a new profession or carry forward, essentially, you know, your current profession. Yeah, essentially that's what it's doing. So they get that $1,800 a month and they can put it towards gas and food. And we cover the, the dorm rooms. We, we've got a full kitchen facility, full laundry facility. We provide them all the equipment they need. They don't need to bring anything other than clothes and themselves. That's it. That's amazing. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a pretty impressive program, man, and and it's and it's allowing these guys to get out of the military and discover that new purpose that they that they might have had while they're in the military. That sense of belonging. That sense somewhere. of belonging. That sense of feeling like they're accomplishing something. Feel like you left a part of you behind. Yeah, and right. a lot of guys, you know, they they, they want to have and, and a lot of they're talking about emotional support animals and things like that. They just want a companion. 
So not only are you getting a companion out of this that's, that would literally die for you, that would do anything for you, but you get to work with them and you get to go and start a new career as a canine handler. And, and something, that, something that I've seen quite a bit today is that rapport that you're, you're developing with the animal yes. as well, with your, with your canine. Yeah, so that's what amazing. you do, so within the first three days you're here, you get to select the dog that you're going to train and certify with for the next eight to 13 weeks. And at the end of the course, we transfer the ownership of that dog to you. So that dog is yours and you leave here as a team to go out and you can start working for a variety of different places. That's amazing. That's so a there's a lot of different places the guys are going to work for. Um, the TSA cargo screening contract. Sure. So every major airport has cargo, go air cargo going through that. And Congress mandated that every piece of cargo has to be searched by a canine. So that is going to be the largest canine contract in the country. And that's where a lot of the uh, guys that graduate from here, they go to work. But the benefit is that they get preference in getting hired in these places because they already are a certified K-19 team. They have a dog, they have the training and the certification, they can go and start working for these companies. And so it not only saves the company money, but they get paid more because they've already got all the training. That, it, it, it's, it's almost one of those stories that sounds like it's too good to be true, to it, be honest it, it, re it really does. It really, really does. And that's why we're trying to get the word out to the veteran community because it's such a phenomenal opportunity it not only helps them, you know, with that sense of belonging and sense of purpose that we were talking about, but it's getting them a really, really good paying job that's is steady work. And they can, you know, they can go and do full-time work on the TSA program or some of the other contracts that are available out there, or they can do piecemeal work and they can go work, say, say they want to work on the weekends and they want to go work at the Philadelphia Eagle Stadium as a K-9 handler. Sure. They're going to get paid average pay is, but, you know, 40 to $50 an hour and they go walk their dog around looking for explosives that a, entrepreneurial a, a spirit is is something that this is an enabler for, right? Because you don't need to join a company as a K9 no, handler. They can, start, they can start their own. Yeah, they could do 1099 work, and then we tell we see a lot of guys come through and they start their own dog training business. And honestly, those guys are making more than some of the guys doing the contract work. Wow. They do they set up like a board and train type business model. They'll bring in four or five dogs at one time for two weeks, and these are just people training dogs you know, for just basic obedience, just house pets. Sure. And they charge these people $2,000 a piece, which is on the low end, ironically. They're charging $2,000 a piece. If you bring in five board and train clients, that's $10,000 in two weeks. As veterans, where are we going to make that much money unless we go to medical school or law well, right, school or something like right that? Right now, plan A is winning the lottery. I just well, that's start, mine just as well. The, I'm still working on that i got to actually buy a lottery ticket first that, That's still my plan. But yeah, I mean, it, so that's what we see is a lot of guys that start that business model they'll still do the contract work on the side because, I mean, let's face it, it's fun. It's, it's fun. It's, it's cool to go and walk around an NFL stadium with your dog and take pictures in the end zone. But where they want to make the money is doing the board and train stuff. So that's another big thing that these guys are doing when they come through here. So AK9I is one of our partners and has been a partner of ours at Funker 530 for quite a while. Quite a while actually. Now. Yep. Um, but what I want to hear a little bit is, is you, AK9I is veteran operated and known, isn't it? We are. So the president owner of the company, he is a retired Navy veteran. I don't hold the fact that he's a Navy against him. I was Army guy. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. But yeah, so we are a very veteran-centric company. Uh, most of the handler or most of the instructors that are here are all former uh, military. We have some that are we're, we're former law enforcement. But I'm super, super pro-veteran company. I don't think we could get any more veteran-centric than we are right now. I, I, I don't think so. So what, what you basically told me is that as a veteran, even even before I'm done transitioning out of the service, I can reach out through the Skill Bridge program if I wanted Correct. to. Correct. Come here, train, become a certified canine trainer, and and separate from the service ETS and establish my own business if I Absolutely. wanted to. Yep. Or I can wait until even if I have already transitioned out, I can leverage my GI Bill benefits yep. that I have. You guys are going to put me up in a place in your dorms here, which are fantastic, by the way. You're going to put me up in the dorms, train me, give me a dog and give me the tools that I need to, to yep. make the next step in life. Yeah, and these dogs, these dogs aren't just your regular pets you get from a, you know, a rescue or a shelter. These are all imported dogs. These are the same dogs that we sell to the military and law enforcement. These agencies. are working animals. These, these, are, are, these are working line dogs. So they're all shepherds, mouths, duchies. Um, we have the occasional lab that comes in. And these are all the same exact dogs we provide to Lackland, we provide to DOD. We, we had the Pentagon contract. It's the same dogs we sell to the Pentagon. That's so, and so they come with a health guarantee, a one-year health and performance guarantee. So we are giving them a guarantee on their dog if for some reason their dog gets sick or something like that. So you're getting a Lamborghini worth of a dog when you get right. out. Right. I mean, the dogs, I mean, a lot of these dogs are going for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a piece that we sell to agencies. So they, they, the veterans coming through here are using their GI Bill and they're getting that for free. Veterans, if you guys are looking for the next step in what your career might be, take a look at AK9I. You can do that at AK9I.com. Click the link down below in the card up above. James,
Thanks for having me here today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, even though I think we're about to go get bit by a dog. That's what I'm looking um, forward to. That's the only reason I wanted you guys mean? to come out. What are you looking forward to? It. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Stay informed. Any last words? Shut up. <laughs> Tell him you're gonna walk home, bro. Put your shoes on before you put that over your shoulder. Ready? Ready. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, you want to do that again? Yeah, we can do no! that again. Yeah. Right, this, this time, oh, he's got a right, This, this time pitch. when he outs, I want you ah! to try to get away. Ah! This, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Pashka. Oh, he's got a good pinch on there, man. Ow. You want to try to escape from him? Nope. Yeah, yeah try to escape. I do not. You can do it. Okay. You're fast, man. I can see you. I am not. <laughs> I'm a rock. Oh. <laughs> It's not a tough rock, more like a jello rock thing. A rock made out of <coughs> sand.